Hi everyone, it's Jocelyn here. Welcome to this week's video. Uh, if you are new to the channel, this is all about Bring Back Paper. You can search the hashtag or check the links below for what that's about. And I upload paper videos every Wednesday, first thing in the morning, UK time. So, hello. Uh, what I want to do today is I need to put together um, the happy mail for some of my patrons this month. So there's different tiers. You can, if you if you're interested in um, receiving happy mail or signing up to do lots of different like paper activities, then my patrons the place to be. I'll link to it now for you, and I'll link below. Um, but I have a certain amount of people who receive um, parcels with stationery in per month. I then have a certain amount of people who receive uh, happy mail from me each month, which could be absolutely anything. That's what I was looking to do today. Uh, I just wanted to make a little bit of a start on their envelopes today. Uh, I already know what I'm going to be putting inside the envelopes. Uh, I'm not going to show those because um, there's no way that they're going to get out in time. So I don't want to ruin surprises, but I thought I could do some of the envelopes. Now, sometimes I do all the envelopes the same, sometimes they're completely different. I haven't decided yet. You can come along and find out with me what I'm gonna do. Um, what I have done, as you can see, I've grabbed all these little bits. I'm gonna open that, I'm not sure. I've grabbed all these little bits. because the only thing that I have decided on is the fact that I would like the envelopes to be green this month like a green theme i think it's quite nice pretty and calming oh they're cute aren't they um but also because i have just been for a walk with herbie and it felt very spring like i mean as i'm saying that i'm looking out my window and it's gone a little bit darker so it might be pouring down later but certainly for our walk this morning it was nice and the sun was shining the birds were all tweeting um uh, there were lots of little uh, bulbs were all coming up and it felt springy springy put me in mind of green so i've then come back from my walk with herbs um he is now fast asleep uh across from me and i've grabbed green stuff let's see how we get on guys so i am very much making these up as i go along probably getting in my own way what shall i do what shall i do i like these i might go in with one of those there oh they're very cute aren't they a little bit different quite um sometimes the envelopes obviously do vary each month depending on what i'm sending out and what i fancy decorating uh they're they're a little bit bigger this month um which is good because i was in the mood to do some more envelope art so that has suited me oh they're cute aren't they oh I might put that up there because I'm going to need to put oh, what are these I'm going to need to put some um, a label somewhere aren't I fancy going that way these are lovely aren't they my concern is that I want to put the envelope the address around there I might then put some pla what do you think I quite like that Doily looks a bit like, I'm calling it a doily. Would you call that a doily? You would say doily, wouldn't you? Um, looks like it's a little bit out there on its own. I've just, I've grabbed this from off my desk. This sort of houses all manner of washi tape, stamps and random bits of paper. Do any of these are green? Oh, see that's too greeny. That's too much. Mm, I'm not sure I'll use one of those today. What else do I have here? Hmm. Hmm. So I told you I didn't know what I was doing. You are very much, I was like, right, I'm going to jump on. I'm going to do this with everyone. So you can all watch my complete indecision when I do these kind of things. I don't like how that's almost lined up. Oh, that's better. It's a bit squifflier. Yeah, that's a word. Um... I think I'm going to do it like that and then I can just put the um, the label, the address label over it when I fancy it. It's just, if I'm, sorry, I'll move it up a little bit because I can see it's just squidging off the camera. 
I think I'm going to go with that, guys. So now I've just got to see which layers and what, of, what order I've done it all in. Get my little beloved glue gum. I mean, I haven't even started thinking about where my washi tape's going to go yet. And clearly there'll be washi tape. If you are a regular watcher of the channel or you follow my blog or you're in the Bring Back Paper Facebook group. Yes, there is a Facebook group. So if you are watching this and thinking, oh, I like paper and mail art and books and stationery and all sorts of pretty things, then that could be the group for you. Um, so yeah, if, sorry, what was I saying? If you're in any of those things, you will know of my love of washi tape. Uh, so I have got some washi. I will do this first and then I will decide exactly what I'm going to do with it. Dee -dee. Now, if you're watching this um, and you're quite new to decorating envelopes, uh, it's really simple. Just do what you like. That's it. That's my top tip, everyone. If you're not enjoying it, don't be doing it. Um, make sure you're in the right mood for it and have fun with it. That's what I'd say. Make sure you have some fun with it. So I'm happy with that. I'm now thinking, do I go to wash it? See, that's pretty, isn't it? I've just found this in my stash. I might just put that. I do like that. Let's have a little, let's see how easily this will come off. I do like that, yes. Look at that, isn't that pretty? No, I don't know where I got it from. I accrue things. I'm like a stationary magpie. So, unfortunately, I cannot remember where I got it from. Ah! What I can tell you is it's very sturdy. What I can tell you is that I love it. Uh, I don't, those stickers seem a bit big, don't they? What about, these are cute though. House plants, as you can see. Yes, I do love a house plant, I might. Where's my thing gone? There it is. Can I get into it? Mm. Oh, come on. I mean, I want that one there and I think it will look nice like that. Yes. Do, do, do. Let's see if it works, see if the magic works. I don't really get it in there. I don't want to mess this up. I bet I pull it off and it's just got half a thing. I know you're watching thing in Jocelyn. I think you finished there. I didn't want to mess it up. Oh, oh, lots of other ones have gone. That impress you. Shows how sticky this thing is. Very sticky. Seems I didn't have to put that amount of effort in. Actually, well, that's obviously no good. I'm going to squibble this off. Might just cover that with the envelope. Um, sorry, the, the, the address thing anyway. I'm not going to fret about it, but I am a little bit disappointed that that has happened. I should have thought of that. Mind you, I don't mind that one being there. Yes, I think that's quite sweet, actually. And then... I am happy with that. What I will then do it will be that kind of size. I put it there so that it covers that annoying sticker. Because they should they they're sneaky stickers. Might put it there actually. I'm going to do it right now. Say so might, that's what I'm doing. So this is where I will pop the label. For the address and because I've done that I'm now thinking shall I pop a little bit of washi tape on there I think more greens a bit much but that's a bit bold isn't it that gold what shall I do what shall I do actually I might just go with quite um oh that one's nice I just go with quite a, a thin washi for this and just offset it there. 
Oh, it's gone a bit further than I expected. Okay, that's fine. I'm happy with that. And then here, just to secure it and obviously to pretty it. Okay. Yes, I'm content. It's green. Has lots going on. I love this washi tape. Uh, so there they go. Envelope number one. I have lots of these to do. I have lots of people to mail. Um, but I'll probably, I might just do another one or two with you guys. So that you can see what I'm up to. I want to do something quite different now. Because that, oh, oh my washi, what am I doing? Right. Hmm. Oh, that's nice. What else is in here? Oh, look at that one. The one that is the one what is that whoops it's a bit too much i think yes i'm thinking i'm thinking that i'm going to cut that part of me is thinking actually no, i want it i'm going to do it like this sometimes you know when you're doing them you want them to have like this perfectly sharp edge. I've got, hang on, paper cutter that I use, obviously scissors. Um, but sometimes I don't mind if it's got like a fluffy or softer edge. Sometimes I just tear them. Uh, depends on my mood. Depends on what I'm trying to achieve. But that will be a nice shape. Yeah, I like that. That's better, it's not as, it doesn't take over, does it, as much? Uh, and then, what have I got in here? Ah. Ooh. Ooh. I think I have some of this. And then, put that back in. And then see where I can put that, because it's pretty and I love it. Where can this go? Oh, do I do it? Sneaking out the shop. It feels like I've wasted loads. If I do do that, I will cut some of that off. You don't want to waste such prettiness. I took it in a bit, actually. Yeah, I like that. And then what? Then what? I'll use that in a moment, I'm sure. And another one. Uh, what have I got in here? What have I got? Hmm. Hmm. That's a bit overly green, isn't it? There's a bit too much green going on there. That one might be nice. Yeah, I quite like that one. I don't like that you can see it in the neck. No. Oh, no, no. I say I don't like it. I'm coping with it. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, What else? What else? Hmm. I do like those. They are super, super pretty. Maybe an angle on this one might look nicer. And then... Maybe... Ooh! My stickers are... are basically, they're attacking me. That's what they're doing. They're jumping out of me. There's a little bow there. That might be nice to finish on the corner of that. That's what I'm going to do. Couldn't see my glue and it was right there. These are on the top. And a more precise individual would just get a little pencil. I've seen it done. I'm sure you have. And they would just pop a little mark there to say, yeah, that's that's where you want that piece of paper. I am not that individual. Uh Precision is not necessarily my greatest asset. I'd rather just pop things down and see how it goes. And that's what I'm doing. There we go. Yes, 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 yes. I like that a lot. So, if you're thinking, right, okay, I want to do some mail art. Not really done this kind of thing before. Not really too sure where to start. My top tip's going to be, I have got another video actually on Easy Mail Art. Um, it's 
So go look at that is probably where I'd say to start. Uh, but my top tip would be just pretty it up with some colourful pens, some doodles, some washi tape, nice and simple, use some stickers. You pretty your envelope. If you want to do something a bit more like this, um, just you can either just go mad and just put whatever you want on there, any colour, any theme, or you could try and pull it together in a little bit of a theme, which doesn't have to be, it can be as simple as a similar colour palette. Um, or it could be, um, and once you do that and you use a similar colour palette, if you use different textures um, and use different types of things, like you know, maybe a, a little sticker, maybe a stamp, maybe a washi, that sort of thing. I can't remember what I did now. You're all going, oh no, that's not what you were doing. Um, just uh, pull it together with a similar sort of colour or it might be you want to go with, um, I don't know, an animal theme or a, uh, a sunshine theme, what, whatever it is, whatever you want to go for. Um, but you can just pull it together in that way. And then you'll think, oh yeah, I can see it now. I can see it a bit more. Um, it, it doesn't, just don't overthink it. Just enjoy doing it. Get your bits and bobs out, your crafty bits and bobs. If you've not got many things like this, you could get um, like wrapping paper, you could get um, magazine cuttings, things like that. I know this is probably a sticker. Well, I'm sure it is, but the faff of getting the stickery back off this. I'm just going to glue it. Um, and then you can just have fun with it. And that's kind of the point, is that you should just be having fun with it. If you're not, don't do it. Just don't do it. Right, I am happy with that. But I feel like this area here looks a little bit sparse. Obviously, the stamp will go there. So that will pretty up. Yes, that's what it needs. I'm happy now with that. Um, do remember that you do need to put a stamp somewhere. And for a lot of these, um, I'm sending overseas, so I'll need a little uh, thingy me doodles. Uh, what am I trying to say? Airmail, that's it, the blue, the, the airmail thing. Right, happy with that, that's number two. I haven't even put washi tape on that one. And I don't think, no, I might do. I was gonna say, I don't think I'm going to. And then I looked at that and I thought, well, actually, that might look nice to kind of bring together the base of that. So I am going to put washi tape on. Of course I am. You knew I was going to. I was going to put it beside, but actually, no, I'm not. I am not. See, when I um, do my letters, pop my bits and bobs in there, uh, I will seal the back with, you know it, with washi tape. That envelope, I'm going to set. Hmm. Over here, I think. Yes, 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 yes. I do sometimes. Um, I do generally for this bit cut out just some plain paper for it. But for the, as you guys are watching, and it seems a little bit speedier, I am just doing using these bits because they're a good size for it, aren't they? Now I've done that, I'm thinking, well, do I need some more washi tape there to set? What is this? What is that, do you think? Well, I don't know, but I like it, so I'm putting it in. Just sometimes, just putting little things in, like washi tape or little stickers like this, it just takes the sharp edges off, if that, if that makes sense. Um, it just softens the edges sometimes of what you're doing. Envelope number two. So I've now got a couple and I think I will, oh, I think I will leave it there. Otherwise I could, you could be sat watching me doing this for absolutely ages and rambling on. But I like these. They both look quite unique, which I like. So everybody that's going to get their letters this month will have a completely unique envelope. Um, but at the same time, there's a theme. I've pulled it together um, and it goes to show actually, you know, with just these bits of paper, which I don't think is massive amounts of paper, these couple of packs, uh, some stickers and bits and bobs from here, you can create completely different designs, um, which I like. I think I'll do something where I'm kind of moving everything over to this side for the next one, just to make it look totally different. 
so that's me guys that's me with a couple of my envelopes this month i hope you enjoyed watching do give it a thumbs up uh, and let me know your thoughts in comments below let me know whether you've been um decorating envelopes recently and what kind of things you've been using whether you've been theming them um, and do let me know if this was helpful and you enjoyed watching uh, do click to subscribe and click the little bell there so that you get notified with each of my uploads thanks for watching everyone bye